Hi there, and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of January 1st through 7th. That's nice how it just <laughs> starts on the, the 1st. So the week of the 1st through 7th. Okay, and uh, interestingly, here in the center we have from the Enchanted Map Oracle, the Bone Collector, which happens to be card number one. So according to Colette Baron-Reed, who created these cards, this Bone Collector is about reclaiming lost parts of ourselves. Parts of ourselves through deep wounding that, you know, we believe that we're not or that we're not good enough, or, you know, all that all that kind of wounding. So this, this card kind of has a Chiron kind of feel to me. Um, so, you know, at, we're, we're starting off the year, we're starting on, off with a one, we're starting off with new beginnings. So don't let stuff from the past trip you up. Because we've had a lot of Chiron activity astrologically, so that would be bringing up those old wounds. So don't don't let old stuff trip you up, old beliefs and feelings about yourself trip you up. Um, we've got the Child of Water, we've got the Ace of Earth. These are, you know, it's a time of new beginnings. It's a new year. Uh, what I find interesting too is we've got some we've got some wheels and some. So it's kind of like it just. It's just a reminder of the passage of time. You know, we've got an actual clock here. We've got a spinning wheel. So that spinning wheel kind of reminds you of the passage of time because the wheel turns and turns and turns. And then we've got this fern that's opening with the, with the wheel shape. And there's even a little spiral here on this crab's back here in the child of water. Um, so it's, you know, I think this is kind of just a reminder that time moves on we as humans have, uh, we break up time into different segments and stuff, and a lot of them are kind of arbitrary, like the new year. It's arbitrarily January 1st of the new year, and so we keep moving forward, and time keeps passing. And so it's whether, you know, we want to retreat or participate is kind of the message. This child of water is saying, you know, have an open heart. Just have an, you know, because with this wounding thing, you may feel like, huh, but it's like, have an open heart. The Ace of Earth is saying, you know, there's there's a potential for, for new beginnings and for new securities and new support this year that you haven't had before. So, you know, be open to it. Be mulling it through. With this Elder of Earth here, um, this is pointing to the fact that you really know what you're doing and you have the skills to make things happen. And that's in your relationship sector. So whether it's personal relationships or business relationships or, or whatever, you know, it's saying, you know, have an open heart and you know what you're doing. So you don't, you don't have to get bent out of shape and feel like you're in some kind of inferior position because you're not. And then finally, at the top of the reading here, we have the Five of Fire. So that's letting us know this week is going to be like herding cats. And there may be a little bit of squabbles or disagreements. But, you know, all in all, it's okay. Because if you notice, kind of the general energy here, at least, is everybody's seated and relaxed and more or less contented. It's just here in the outer world, we've got, like I said, a little bit of this and that, fires to put out, things to react to, people to address, but none of it is, is life-threatening. It's just um, time-consuming and energy-requiring and things like that, but nothing, nothing, nothing to get too uh, crazy about. And then let me pull one more card just as a hint of what we're going into next week. Oh, next week we're going to be going, we're going to be headed toward the Two of Cups, the Two of Water into love. So this week, keep your cool, keep your center, and know that you are enough. And I'll talk to you next week.